Today for Irish American Heritage Month we honor two Irish Americans. Robert Emmett O'Malley and Thomas Patrick Noonan were born within five months of each other in the historically Irish community of Woodside, Queens, New York. A picture of the 1949 kindergarten class of PS76 shows the two boys as classmates. The two attended school and church together and were close friends throughout childhood. Both enlisted in the United States Marines and earned the Medal of Honor, one making the ultimate sacrifice. After graduating high school, O'Malley enlisted in the Marines, where he and his three brothers would serve their country. On 18 August 1965, while leading his squad, they came under intense fire from a strongly entrenched enemy force pinning his men. With complete disregard for his own safety, O'Malley raced across an open rice paddy to the trench where the enemy was located. Jumping into the trench, he attacked the Viet Cong with his rifle and grenades and single-handedly killed eight of the enemy. He then led his squad to the assistance of an adjacent Marine unit which was also taking heavy casualties, where O'Malley personally assisted in evacuating several wounded Marines. Ordered to an evacuation point by an officer, Corporal O'Malley gathered his badly wounded squad and led them under fire to a helicopter. Although he himself was wounded three times, O'Malley continued to cover his squad's boarding of the helicopters while, from an exposed position, he delivered fire against the enemy until the last of his men were safely on board. Only then did O'Malley permit himself to be removed from the battlefield. O'Malley would become the first living Marine to receive the Medal of Honor for service in the Vietnam War. Equally brave but not as fortunate, O'Malley's childhood friend Thomas Noonan also enlisted in the Marines. On 5 February 1969, Lance Corporal Noonan was serving as a fire team leader with Company G 2nd Battalion 9th Marines 3rd Marine Division in Quang Tri Province when they came under heavy fire as they descended a treacherous, muddy hill. Four Marines were wounded and pinned under continuous enemy fire. Noonan scrambled from his own position behind cover toward the wounded men, diving behind some rocks as he went. Finally, he dashed across the hazardous terrain and commenced dragging the most seriously wounded man away from the fire-swept area. Although, knocked to the ground by an enemy round, Noonan resumed dragging the man toward safety. He was, however, mortally wounded before he could reach his destination. Noonan would be awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously for his selfless sacrifice. After Noonan's death in Vietnam, O'Malley remained in contact with the Noonan family and visited Noonan's mother every year on Memorial Day. On presenting the Medal of Honor to Robert Emmett O'Malley, President Johnson remarked, Every time I have awarded the Medal of Honor, I wonder what it is that makes men of this quality and I wonder what a man can say in the face of such bravery. The fact that two men of such quality were classmates from the same Irish-American neighborhood in New York, joining the company of numerous other Irish-Americans who hold our nation's highest honor, is a testament to the heritage, culture, and traditions which produces such men and women of quality with remarkable regularity.